Super Smash Bros. Ultimate News approaches. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Joining the battle from arms. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms. Next fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is going to be arms, apparently. That's... Weird. It kind of came out of nowhere. And now it's it's happening. So, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited. But it just seems a little weird. I mean, ARMS had an assist trophy, me costumes, and spirits. And while none of those deconfirm a fighter, it just seems a little weird that we have the main character from ARMS, Springman, as an assist trophy, Ribbon Girl and Springman as me costumes, and a, a good amount of spares. So, if those do deconfirm fighters, it means we're gonna have to use someone else. Maybe Helix or Springtron, which are my personal favorites. Or maybe, who knows, Springman will be the fighter. But today, we're gonna talk about that. So, realistically, Springman probably isn't gonna be the fighter. I mean, it's just probably not gonna happen. He, he's an assist trophy. And while it doesn't mean he can't be the fighter, and they could easily just, if Springman is being chosen as a character, de um, make it so the assist trophy can't appear, it just seems a little weird that a character would be an assist trophy and a playable fighter in the same game. Now don't get me wrong, this would be awesome, because I'm a Waluigi fan, and as we all know, poor Waluigi is stuck as an assist trophy again. There's always next time, though. But for ARMS, possibly I think that there's four different options they're going to do. The first one, which is the least likely, is that Springman will be the fighter. He might have some alts of other characters, but the assist trophy will either be disabled when you're playing as him, or will be replaced with Springtron. And now, while this would be the best of both worlds, I just don't see it happening. But a more likely one is that we'll have Ribbon Girl or another character as the arms fighter, and they'll have alternates. So if we have Ribbon Girl, we could possibly see Ribbon Girl, Ninjara, Min Min, and maybe Springtron or Helix, my personal favorites, as the new fighter. And all four, and the four of them will be all. It's kind of like Hero. I don't think they're going to do a Bowser Jr. situation if they do this, because just it would be too hard. There aren't eight characters in arms that share similar body types. I just don't see that happening. Another one that could happen is that it could be a fighter from arms, too, if they want to do that. Although it's only been about three years since arms came out, three or four. And it just seems a little bit too early for it to get a sequel, especially on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if they do this to reveal their next game console, I, I feel like that'd also be a bit too early, because the Switch is still fairly new. And if you look at the time from the Wii to the Wii U and the Wii U to the Switch, there we, we still got a, another year or two years before they announce the next console. So I don't think ARMS 2 is going to happen. Now, the fourth option is that Nintendo's just trolling us, and it's going to be Paper Mario from the Origami King. And if you saw that trailer, I mean, he had extendable arms, but obviously that's not going to happen. Would be cool, though. Paper Mario. Then again, arms is obviously getting a new rep. So, realistically, it could be anyone. My best bets are Ribbon Girl, Helix, Ninjara, or Min Min. I'm not a big fan of Min Min. The other ones I, I'd like, Min Min just to me has always been an eh character. Um, but either way, I'd be happy if, I'm happy that any ARMS character is getting in. And if we look at Fighters Pass 1, for me, four out of five of them were great choices, and the one that wasn't, Banjo-Kazooie, surprisingly, I'm not really a big fan of him. 
he's still fun to play as. And so even if the ARMS character is somewhat disappointing, they're still going to be fun to play as, because Sakurai knows what he's doing. And this video was just a little bit of a fun video, just some speculation. And I am going to try to upload some reactions when the, not live stream ones, but if Nintendo uploads a video of re re showing the new fighter, I am going to try to react to that if it's not spoiled. So if you, if the next one, fighter is revealed and you don't see me upload a video, that's because I was spoiled of it because I want to have my genuine reaction. So it's probably not going to happen every time. And I'm not doing it during live streams because that's a whole nother deal. And also, I like watching um, some YouTubers react to it during live streams. So, that won't be happening. Um, please like and subscribe and tell other people to subscribe. We just hit 40 subscribers, which is pretty big for me. I'm really hoping we can get to 50 soon. I really want to get to 100 by the end of the year. I don't think that's going to happen. By the end of next year, I think we could get to 100, but if you can definitely um, share this video and get other people to subscribe, that would be great. Um, please leave a like and comment down below, or if you're watching this on something that can't comment, then get on your computer and comment, or your phone, phones can comment. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye!